Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my shop on this exciting day. Why exciting? Well, if you followed my channel over the last couple of years, you'll know that for every idea I have for a woodworking tool that makes it to the market, I have about three that uh, don't. Just the way it is. It's how it is trying to develop new things. It's a hard thing to do. Today's exciting because I get to tell you about one that is making it to the market. So before describing it, let's talk about template routing. When you're template routing, you start with a template that's the exact shape that you want for a workpiece, usually made out of some kind of material like plywood or MDF, and you use a bearing guided bit that tracks along the template. You've cut the workpiece slightly larger all the way around than the template, and the bearing just shaves off that little bit of wood that's left so that you have a perfect copy of the shape of the template. You've seen me use template routing on the pizza peel that I did, the cell phone microscope, the twisted table rails, and my smashboard project that was pretty much template routing the whole time. So obviously I really find this useful, um, but I don't like dealing with the double stick tape. It's a real pain. Both apply it and even more so try to separate the pieces when you're done. I've damaged work pieces trying to wedge them apart if I've used too much tape or too little. And I also don't like how there's just a tiny little bit of play in the tape. It smushes just a little bit and the workpiece can tend to move. It's just not the most fun part of template routing. Now, some people go to the trouble of actually building a sled to clamp a workpiece to a template. And this works great. The sleds are very effective. You don't have to deal with the double stick tape. Problem is that, that you do have to build a sled. It's a lot more work. And also, if you need to go all the way around the perimeter of a shape, for example, if I was doing a sled for this, that'd be a little trickier uh, because you have the sled getting in the way on one side. You'd have to do maybe two different sleds and then switch the piece from one to the other and try to get it in the exact right spot. So I've been thinking, would it be possible to just cut a template out of a piece of material and have all the same functionality as the sled gives you and then additionally not have problems going all the way around the perimeter of a workpiece. So that's the problem I'm trying to solve. And here is the first part of the solution. Now this is special board that you use to make the template. Okay, what's special about it? So the first and most striking thing that you notice is this puzzle cut around, around the outside. Uh, and the reason we did that so we can sell one size, relatively small, easy to stock, but you can quickly glue and join multiple pieces together uh, for longer templates. So that's the deal with the shape on the outside. All right, what else is going on here? So it's 5 eighths of an inch thick with MDF, quarter inch MDF, sheets on the outside and hardboard on the inside. The hardboard on the inside is what rides against the bearing of the bearing guided bit. Uh, the hardboard doesn't compress, just a better material to be touching the bit. The other parts doesn't, not so critical, so they're made out of, out of MDF. And on the bottom, we have this dado pattern uh, in two perpendicular directions. The reason we have the dado pattern brings us to the second half of the invention which are these clamps that fit inside those dados. So the idea is you cut a template out from this template material, then you can use these clamps in the dados to secure the workpiece to the template, uh, and then you can, you can switch them around very easily one at a time to make your way all the way around the perimeter. So it does everything I wanted it to. You just cut a template, these clamps give you all the functionality of a sled with the added bonus of, of easily being able to go all the way around a template. And this system is called the Tempro Template Routing System. It's gonna be made by the same folks that do the miter set, the cross fence angle setting tool for the table saw. Very high quality. I have a lot of confidence in their ability to do this. That's why I license it to them. Uh, now I wanna show you an actual project. I'm going to use this for something that's pretty common and that's making zero clearance inserts for a table saw. So dimensioning the template material is the same as dimensioning anything else. I just cut it on the miter saw and the table saw to get it close to the shape of the insert. And then I actually mark it on the opening itself. Now the reason I don't use the existing throat plates that come with the saw, they're always loose and sloppy. Um, and if I'm going to make a template, I can, I can do better than that. So I mark out exactly what line I want to cut and sand to, uh, and then use the bandsaw and the disc sander to fine tune it. 
Now I have a nice snug fit, so my inserts are going to stay in place and not move around. And I'm going to use Baltic Birch ply for the inserts, uh, and actually use the planer to get it down to the thickness uh, that'll work with the saw, so it'll be perfectly flush. And then I mark with the template the lines that I need to cut outside of, because remember I'll trim to those exact lines with the bed. Now it's time to use the Tempro clamps to attach the template to the insert. They slip into the dados and I tighten them down. I just need to use two to start with here. So you see the bottom of the clamp and the template material are flush so nothing catches on the router table. I set the bearing to the height of the hardboard in the middle of the template and then cut halfway around. Better dust collection probably needed. Okay, so now I use my third clamp, secure that in place, move one of the two clamps I had in place. So you notice this whole operation, there's always two clamps holding the template to the workpiece so it never moves around, uh, and I'm ready to do the other half. Now I can bring the blade up through the insert and a little bit more fiddly work making room for the riving knife in the back uh, and it's ready to go. So that's the Tempro template system. I'll be able to hang on to this template and uh, make more zero clearance inserts when I need to. Um, check out the pre-sale in, in the description if, if you're interested in this. Now one more thing to consider, uh, maybe you like this concept of the clamps and the dados in the bottom of the template, um, but are on the thrifty side and, and want to make the, the template yourself, you certainly can do that. I've done the same thing here and just cut two dados in the bottom. Now this is not going to be quite as good. It's not going to have the hard board for the bearing to ride on. It'll wear out quicker. Um, it takes a little bit more time to make because you got to set up either like a router bit or dado uh, to cut these. We're selling the clamps on, on uh, their own so you can get into this fairly cheap with just the clamps and start out making your own templates if you want to go that route. I mean, this uh, this certainly works. So happy to be able to provide a, a budget option on this one. Hope you found it interesting. Uh, thanks for the support and thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. So the next thing I'm going to use this for is we're going to require a longer template than this starting piece. So I glue two of them together, no clamps needed. Uh, now, obviously this wouldn't be strong enough for furniture, but it's a template. So the strength of this joint is just fine.